In this video we're going to show you how to upgrade or replace a hard drive on an Acer Aspire E15. Um, this particular model is a ES1, but it'll work with any of the E-series uh, Acer laptops. Um, you might be just wanting to upgrade it to um, a SATA drive or rather a, um, a um, SSD uh, drive to make it quicker or your hard drive might have went bad. Um, one way to tell if your hard drive uh, goes bad is it'll go like on automatic repair and it will never um, go to the hard drive or, or to the Windows operating system or you may turn it on and it goes directly to BIOS so it never goes into the operating system. It's usually a bad hard drive. Um, you can purchase hard drives uh, online, eBay, for as little as 20 bucks, 20 bucks or 30 bucks for this model. And you'll see it does take something like this, which is considered a thin SATA hard drive. The SATA has the large and then the small connection there. Um, and it is thinner than most uh, hard drives. This is what you'd consider more of a th thicker one right here. Um, <coughs> but the best way to do it is, is when we open it up and get our hard drive out of it, just read the model number on the hard drive itself. It'll have the model number on there and you can plug that into eBay or Amazon or wherever you want to buy it to replace it. Now you might ask the question of how about the operating system? Well the operating system um, doesn't come with hard drives so what you'll need to do is purchase the disk. Um, you can get them on eBay, this particular one uh, Windows 8 System Recovery and it's universal. It has all the different versions whether it be Ultimate or Home Premium or what ha have you. And I got this on eBay for like it was like eight bucks, seven bucks. And um, the product key, which is considered the license, is actually embedded in your BIOS with these computers. So that's what you paid for, and so you don't have to pay for it again, a new operating system, because you already paid for it. Um, and I will link, well, actually, I'll post at the end of this video how to retrieve that product key and how to, um, and then how to install. But it's very, very easy. All right, so to open it up, and to replace the hard drive you want to turn it on its back and I think there's like a total of um, if I'm not mistaken there's four let's see six twelve about 19 screws 18 to 19 screws so you're gonna take every single one of these screws out and I went ahead and took most of them out uh, beforehand so go ahead and take these out very simple to do. And then your little DVD drive bay, either you'll have a real DVD player in it or it'll be a blank and you'll need to take that out. And there's one screw holding that, but if you take all your screws out, you're fine. That one's out, and then what you do is you slide it out. And then you're going to take a little steak knife or a little, um, a little flathead. And what you're going to do is you're going to go around the edges. And there's going to be like a, two ribbons that's connecting your mouse pad right here. You'll see them right here. So pry it open a little bit more. And I might not have got all the screws out. Let's see here. Got all screws, that's what happened. This one right there. There we go. Now, as you can see, there, there's two ribbons there's one here and one here. And there's two little white tabs holding each ribbon. So what you're going to do is you're going to push towards the screen 
on the left and right side of both ribbons. So there's one, and then two, and then you will pull it out gently. And then there's another one right here, and that one actually, the smaller one, you actually lift up on the uh, on it, I believe. Yes, you just lift up on it, and that pulls right out. There, comes out. Now that exposes the hard drive. And so that's the hard drive. There's actually a memory here, chip on the bottom with a four gig, one four gig, and you can actually upgrade that by taking this motherboard off and installing an eight. You might want to go ahead and do that. You can get to eight gigs for sometimes as low as 25 bucks. All right, so to take the hard drive out, um, you want to disconnect your battery. There's two things holding the battery. There's one here that you pull out. And then there's this one right here. Okay, that way you won't short circuit anything. And then there's one screw here. And I'll go ahead and post a video on this channel how to replace the memory here after this one. Just look for it with the model number. Take this ribbon off. I'll lift it up there. And you just pull it out. And this is considered the caddy. So you're going to unscrew that. See that? And so just think that this one is bad and you want to replace it with a new one. So see I got one that's ready to install in it. And then what you want to do is you're going to need to install it. You're going to need, if you're going to use that DVD disc that I showed you, um, you're going to need a DVD player. And this particular one, as you see, had a blank. So I made a video before this video that shows how to replace the DVD player. You can get you usually get DVD players for um, anywhere from you know 10, 15 bucks, or you can just use an external one and hook it up via USB to it and then install your your Windows 8 there. All right, thanks for watching.